Hi, I'm Carrie O'Shaughnessy. I'm a riparian specialist with Cows and Fish. We're also known as the Alberta Riparian Habitat Management Society. Cows and Fish is a not-for-profit organization working in Alberta on helping producers in the agricultural sector as well as other sectors better understand the riparian part of the landscape. So the riparian area is that green zone of water-loving vegetation next to a water body. So whether it's a stream or a river or a lake, a wetland or even a pond, it's that zone where there's more water influence on the soils and the plants. Because of that influence of water, riparian areas are a little bit unique on our landscape. Um, you often see them at the bottom of valleys and the bottom of hills, they're in the lowlands. So they are sometimes a collection point for a lot of water off the, off the watershed. And what that means is that water is sometimes carrying things with it, things like excess nutrients that when they get into the water, they can cause problems for our water bodies, whether it's algae blooms or um, providing more sediment that um, affects fish. And a healthy riparian area with a variety of different uh, plant species in it can help and filter that water. So keeps it cleaner, which is great for downstream water use as well as livestock use. So things to look for in, in a healthy riparian area are uh, diversity of native plants. Everything from trees to shrubs to, to grasses and grass-like plants and even the wildflowers or the forbs. That vegetation is key for performing some of those basic functions. Thinking about whether or not you've got a lot of weeds, a lot of invasive plants in that riparian zone. If you have a lot of them, that's an indicator of stress and an indicator that it might be not as healthy as it could be. Looking at the age class structure of a, of a forested area, um, lots of times riparian areas are growing trees and shrubs. Do you have lots of young, you know, little trees and shrubs growing up that are going to replace the old ones once they die out? And then comparing your vegetation to bare ground. You know, if you've got a, a good amount of, of bare soil or exposed soil, that's a sign that riparian area might be getting some extra, extra use and not enough rest. Another thing to think about is if you are particularly in uh, a stream or a river, is can that water access its floodplain on a regular basis? Flooding is actually a really important part of the way that riparian areas work and they are the release valve for that, for that stream channel. So allowing that water to get out, to slow down the energy, that deposit sediment, which then creates a really lush soil base and plant base that can be utilized sometimes in, in particular times for either hay or for grazing.